We wanted to see a new action plan to improve the prevention, the diagnosis, the treatment of cancer and the support for people living with cancer. It's a comprehensive package of measures that uh, through their implementation will ensure that people in Scotland not only get the best possible clinical care when they're diagnosed with cancer but that they get that care as quickly as possible and that they're supported uh, with the other day-to-day -day practicalities of living with cancer. My role in chairing the, the Scottish uh, Cancer Task Force will be to implement this new action plan um, building on the work that um, the Scottish Cancer Group has um, taken forward over the past three, four years under the chairmanship of Dr Bob Grant and they've made tremendous progress in lots and lots of areas but this new action plan I think takes us you to the next stage so it's my job, my challenge to lead that task force. The actions are extremely wide ranging, they for example uh, include uh, new investment to Macmillan Cancer Support to extend the range of financial and benefits advice that's available to cancer patients because we know that the practicalities of living with cancer mean uh, people are unable to work, it affects their ability to pay their mortgage or their rent or other bills, so it's important that they have access to the best possible advice. Uh, at the other end of the spectrum, uh, the plan introduces a new waiting time target uh, so that patients by 2011 will start their treatment within 31 days of the decision being taken to treat. So it's a holistic package of measures that are designed to ensure that cancer care in Scotland continues to improve. The action plan, as far as I'm concerned, and anybody that's working within this environment, is a real positive step forward. It's very exciting to think that the action plan will incorporate a holistic approach for patients. Um, that's what we're all about here in the centre. And Patients um, struggle from an emotional sense, their relatives are affected by a diagnosis of cancer, and they also struggle from a, a financial aspect. So the fact that those things are being brought into this action plan, I'm really pleased to see. Uh, the consultation that has led to the publication of the strategy today has been uh, extremely wide-ranging. It's drawn on the views of patients, of carers, of voluntary organisations and of course staff who work in the NHS delivering cancer services. I, I think the action plan that we published today reflects all of those views and because it draws on the the views and the experiences of people dealing with cancer day in and day out, then it will be a better action plan for that and I believe as we implement it, it will deliver real improvements.